Okay. Hi, it's Kerry from Colorado Biking, and I'm at Centennial Cone today. It's a Sunday, it's, a, it's an even day, October the 30th, and Centennial Cone has an alternating use structure. Um, bikes are allowed on even days at the weekend, uh, walkers and equestrians on odd days at the weekend. It's a very busy trail system. Check out the highlights coming up. If you like what I do, subscribe. What I do, I ride trails up and down the front range and throughout Colorado, and I give you first hand opinions on the trail give you insight as to what it's like so if you're looking for a new trail to ride you can check out some of my trail videos here and um, find out what you want to ride Woo! Okay, come on, we can get up here. Ah, oh, a little climb. <laughs> Centennial Cone is a very undulating trail. With some pretty big climbs and some pretty big descents on it. This total route is about 22 miles with 3,200 feet of climbing and descending. The trail is very much loose over hard with uh, some sharp rocks sticking through. So there's a lot of climbing on this ride but there's some very nice views overlooking Creek, Clear Creek Canyon. So, Centennial Cone has an alternate use schedule for the weekends. On odd days, it is hikers and equestrians only, bikers are not allowed. And on even days, it's bikers only, with equestrians and walkers banned. Today's been pretty good. Okay. We've been climbing again and we're nearing another top so we're going to crest over this ridge and drop down to the creek on the other side Switchbacks. The only thing about this trail are the really tight switchbacks. Woo! Oh yeah! Not as much control coming down here on the fat bike as there is on my trail bike. They're a bit more bouncy. Back to the down. Woo! Oh. Okay. 
Thank you. Have a good one. Oh, nice drop was a bit of a big one. Still going down. This is uh, one of the longer downhills, if not the longest downhill of the day. Woo! Oh yeah! That's it, descent time. Could be a little careful around here. This trail's a bit loose. Because if you go off trail here, there's some pretty big drops off to the side. I don't think anything that would kill you, but it would certainly hurt as you come off the side. We're almost at the bottom. Through the trees. Woo! Whoa, switchbacks! God, I hate these switchbacks. That's the only thing that kills this trail are the switchbacks. And another one. I see the bottom. I see the bottom. <laughs> so you know what seeing the bottom means? That means we have a mammoth climb coming up. So we're at the bottom of that descent. Now we've got a long old climb heading back up. <sighs> Climbing again. There is no gain without some pain. Ah, oh, the dreaded switchbacks. Centennial cone. On the south side of Hugging Clear Creek Canyon. Still climbing. Still definitely climbing. You may ask, why am I riding the fatty here? When my trail bike would obviously be faster? Well, that's because, as you'll see in another video, I don't have a tyre on the rear of the trail bike at the moment. I have the tyre, but I found my rim strip was torn up. So, I'm waiting to receive a new one, which I'll get today. So, I'll have the tyre back on the other bike later on today. So for now, I took the fatty out. But actually in Centennial Cone, kind of the reason why I chose this, it's pretty smooth. So, it's a good trail for hardtails. It's also kind of loose and blown out places, which might also favor a fatty. Yeah. Why don't just stop here for a second? Look at the view. We have a tough climb coming up. I am wickedly out of breath. <sighs> well, we're at the top of Centennial Cone and the views are quite spectacular for front range trails. And we're going to continue for a nice descent now. Gotta watch out for people around here. It's really quite a few people climbing up. So blind corners, you're gonna have to be careful of. Thank you. Wait, let's do some speed for a little bit. <laughs> it's actually kind of hard to go fast down here because just because of the number of people on the trail. Hard to go fast.
That's the end of that down. Great section of trail here. A bit of a nemesis for me. You can get some quite serious speed into a 90 degree corner, which has a pretty big drop on the other side. It's a nice little psych out. Plus I've crashed on here a couple of times. Today I'm not gonna go that fast. <laughs> but I crashed right here. <laughs> here here's that corner. He's going to here, it's all you. There we go. Yeah, a bit of a climb. So this is quite a tough climb. Doesn't look steep, but legs are beginning to get tired by this point. We've been doing a lot of climbing. Let's see. Oh yeah, nearly 2,000 feet of climbing so far. Final little descent until we pick up like a double track climb up to the other trailhead. I think that's the actual Centennial Cone Trailhead, which is at the top of the park. I'm halfway through my ride. I'm currently up at the Centennial Cone Trailhead and uh, we just climbed up from the Mayhem Gulch Trailhead along the Travoy Trail and I'm going to do this as an out and back. You can loop this park but I find it best. Um, there's a trail called the Elk Range Trail which is basically double track and going counterclockwise like I'm doing uh, it's going to be a fair, fair climb on double track and it's not so much fun. Going clockwise if you want a quick loop, it's pretty good. You've typically got a tailwind behind you, it's, it's mostly downhill, there's some uphill but with a tailwind you can be pushing 30 miles an hour along it and it's fine, open, wide, it's a good high speed trail should you want a quick blast but it's not like a downhill or anything like that. And But personally I find it best to do counterclockwise from Mayhem Gulch up to Centennial Cone Trailhead and then reverse it back. That way you're on single track with all the best climbs and all the best descents um, on the trail. So I'm halfway and a uh, quick breather before I head back and complete the second half.